When people talk about electric vehicle efficiency, they usually focus on the big things, the battery size, the motor efficiency, or how aerodynamic the vehicle is. But there's a quieter system working behind the scenes that can make or break real-world range, especially in an ultra-efficient vehicle like Aptera. That system is the low-voltage electrical architecture, and in this case, it may be more important than in almost any other car on the road. Aptera recently shared details about its low-voltage power distribution unit, and at first glance, it might not seem like the most exciting component. But once you start digging into what it actually does, it becomes clear why this system deserves serious attention. The unit is specifically designed to power down entire subsets of devices when they aren't needed, during charging, when the vehicle is parked, or in other low-activity states. That ability alone has massive implications for efficiency. What really put this into perspective for me was owning and driving an electric vehicle that actually shows how much power the low-voltage systems consume. In my case, that was an older Hyundai Ioniq. It includes a display that breaks power usage into categories like drivetrain, climate, and electronics. And when you look at that electronics category, things like the radio, dashboard, lights, and infotainment, it becomes obvious that these systems use a surprising amount of energy. In my car, the low-voltage electronics alone can draw around 360 watts. That might not sound like much at first, but when you think about it over time, especially during long drives or extended stops, it adds up quickly. And here's the key point. The more efficient a vehicle's drivetrain is, the larger the percentage of total energy that these background systems consume. In an inefficient vehicle, electronics are a relatively small piece of the pie, but in an extremely efficient vehicle like Aptera, every watt matters. When the drivetrain uses less energy, the electronics, climate systems, and computers suddenly become a much bigger factor in how far you can actually go. That's why Aptera's focus on low-voltage efficiency isn't just smart, it's essential. The same logic applies to climate control. Climate systems can be one of the biggest energy draws in any electric vehicle. Cooling, heating, fans, and controls all pull from the battery, and in a high-efficiency vehicle, their impact is amplified. While the initial version of the vehicle won't include a heat pump, improving climate efficiency over time will likely be critical. In colder regions especially, heating can significantly affect range. Where I live, I rarely use heat in my car, so I mostly see the impact of air conditioning. And even then, the jump in power usage is noticeable. Being able to see that data in real time has completely changed how I think about efficiency. It makes you more aware of what systems are running and how small choices affect overall energy consumption. That's why I'm really hoping for a detailed efficiency readout in Aptera's interface, something that shows climate usage, low voltage power draw, and how much energy each system is consuming. For people who care about efficiency, that kind of transparency is incredibly valuable. It allows drivers to manage their energy use more intentionally instead of guessing. Another area where low voltage efficiency becomes critical is what's commonly called vampire drain or phantom drain. This is the slow, constant loss of battery power that happens even when the car is parked and not actively being driven. Many electric vehicles struggle with this, especially those packed with always-on sensors, cameras, and background systems. Some vehicles lose a noticeable amount of charge just sitting in a garage or parking lot. Features like security monitoring and background computing can quietly drain the battery over time. For a vehicle with a large battery, that might be an annoyance. For a vehicle like Aptera, with a smaller battery but much higher efficiency, controlling this drain is absolutely crucial. Aptera clearly understands this challenge. Their emphasis on powering down unused systems suggests they're taking phantom drain seriously from the start. Reducing idle power consumption isn't just about convenience, it directly affects how usable and reliable the vehicle is day to day.
Looking more closely at the low voltage power distribution unit itself, the design appears clean, compact, and thoughtfully laid out. It's housed in a protective enclosure that keeps dust and debris out while remaining accessible. Inside, the fuses and connectors are neatly organized, suggesting a focus on reliability and serviceability. Even small details, like labeling and component organization, hint at careful system-level thinking. This doesn't look like an afterthought, it looks like a system designed with efficiency and longevity in mind. Whether this is the final production version or not, the philosophy behind it is clear. What I'm most curious about now is the real-world power draw. Will Aptera's low-voltage system sit closer to 100 watts? 200 watts, or will it creep up toward the 300-400 watt range seen in other vehicles? With more advanced computing and infotainment, it's reasonable to expect some increase, but the goal should be to push that number as low as possible. If Aptera can significantly reduce low voltage consumption while also minimizing vampire drain, the payoff will be substantial. Every watt saved is more energy available for driving. In a vehicle built around extreme efficiency, those savings translate directly into real-world range and usability. At the end of the day, this is what sets Aptera apart. It's not just about one breakthrough feature, it's about stacking small efficiency gains everywhere possible. And the low-voltage system, often overlooked in most vehicles, might end up being one of the most important pieces of the puzzle. For anyone who truly cares about efficiency, this is the kind of engineering detail that deserves attention, because in a vehicle like Aptera, it's not the obvious systems that determine success, it's the ones quietly working in the background every second the car is on, and even when it's not. The Aptera's EV impact is significant. We are revolutionizing efficiency and sustainability with this design. As we look at the future roadmap, we're excited to announce that the Aptera is on track for late 2024 production.